welcome to year two of the Pokemon redesign series. I have some very specific ideas of like what I need to change, like what I don't like about it, but I just don't have very, I'm not super decided on what I want to do instead. The main thing, the main problem that I have with Diggersby is the the fur on the belly. <laughs> a few other like details, but to me it's the fur on the belly that needs to go, needs to be replaced. Because of the construction theme, it seems to me like the best thing to replace it with is something more like a safety vest, uh, more along the lines of, I guess, Watchhog. But I think it might also be worth changing the like proportions of the body a little bit. I do really like Digger's Bee's excavator ears, and so I definitely want to keep those. I do think it probably needs to be uh, like bottom heavy, because if it's going to be excavating with those ears, it needs something to counterbalance that, and so probably bottom heavy. Oh yeah, another problem that I kept having in my sketches of Digger's Bee is that it, it kept looking like a cartoon rabbit. like. Like a Bugs Bunny kind of thing, I guess. Uh, which is definitely not what I want. But I did also think of making Diggers be like, actually like less humanoid, make it more rabbit-like. Obviously I looked up other redesigns just for like inspiration and I did see one really big legs, which I kind of liked. To me it makes sense for the construction worker aspect for it to have upper body strength. But at the same time, it uses its ears for the digging. Like its ears are what does all the hard work. So for it to just have thin arms also kind of makes sense. So far, I think this is the one that I like best. On all fours, I think is worth exploring more. Well, let's go with the vestigial arms then, if it stays bipedal, because I do think it's, it's worth exploring the quadruped version a little bit more. I like the idea of it, but the it ju it's just not really working for me. I think the standing might be easier with the ears. Game Freak might have found this out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Since it's not going to have something covering its belly, I feel like it needs some other kind of pattern there. Something on the legs that, that imitates uh, the, the tractor tread similar to Hydreigon, that could actually work well. Because it's a construction Pokemon, to me the kind of obvious choice was a safety vest. Not a huge fan of clothing patterns. I'm also not a fan of clothing patterns, but I'm not a fan of pattern stuff that actually looks like clothing. I don't mind patterns and stuff that are reminiscent or that reference clothing, which is more the direction that I would want to go in with this. Overall, I'm pretty happy with, with this. So I'm gonna try figuring out a better pose to draw it in. I want a pose that shows off more it using its excavator claws, if I can. The idea of the eyes being goggles. Like, I think I like this enough to just go ahead and do a, a, a more refined sketch, something a little bit cleaner that we can uh, work out the details on. So let's do that.
Diggersby eyes, Bunnelby eyes, or no eyes, <laughs> no pupils. <laughs> this looks uh, a little bit more personable, a little bit more friendly, but also a little bit more cartoony. I'll go with this. So time to do the final lines and then we can figure out some colors for it. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I think I'm ready to move on to colors unless you guys see anything. I'm not sold on the tail, but the rest looks solid. I'm not super attached to the tail. I think it works just fine. And like if it wasn't meant to be a, a you know, shaped after a, a excavator claw, it would just be a fluffy bunny tail, I guess. I guess I could give uh, the spots that are on its leg, I guess I could put them back. Let's figure out the colors. Like having the white gloves does make the uh, the yellow vest pattern stand out more, and I do appreciate that. This is gonna be it. Okay, I'm not terribly happy with how the shading looks. I just, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I keep doing poorly <laughs> on the shading. 
Uh, like, I feel like I haven't done a really good job with the shading since the beginning of the series, really. Th there were some that were good, like Carvano, I think, turned out pretty good, but... I, I, I really don't know what it is that I keep not liking how the shading turns out. I have been, from the beginning, trying to imitate the style, the shading, or, or just of everything, from the Let's Go art. And maybe because I just haven't looked at Let's Go art very closely in a long time, I'm doing something that, that that's just not working anymore. But I'm okay with it. I like it's it's a good enough time to color in the lines, I guess. I think that this looks a lot more like it seems like a more natural evolution to to, to Bunnelby, right? Like it has a more similar body shape. It's still cute in a way. But yeah, so I'm I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the design, I'm just not happy with the drawing. Well, on that note, I am thinking of changing the style that I do this series in. So if you're someone that knows a little bit more about how to imitate, how to approximate the official Pokemon Sugimori art style, reach out to me on Twitter. I could probably use some tips. And I hope you enjoyed this design of Diggersby, at least. And if you did, you can let me know by leaving a like down below. And whether you did or didn't, I would appreciate a comment with your thoughts. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about it. The options for the next redesign are Halucha, Slurpuff, and Aromatisse. You can vote in the poll in the iCard. The stream for the next redesign will happen on February 29th. As usual, it'll be at noon Pacific time. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching and you would like to see more, there is the subscribe button down below. Thank you to my patrons, especially luxury patron Ethan Saffron. I'm Umbreon Libris. I'll see you in the next chapter. <laughs>